Thank you for joining me in this brief little devotion. I'm Bill Grand with the Good Samaritan Society. In Matthew's version of the story of Jesus being raised from the dead, we read of the women coming to the tomb and discovering it was empty and then being met by the angel of the Lord. But then in verses 8 through 10 of chapter 28, we read these verses. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. I love the fact that it says that they were filled with both fear and great joy, which is for me really a normalizing of what many of us may be experiencing during this COVID-19 pandemic, a mixture of both fear but also great joy in the opportunities we have to still experience God's love each day. The second thing that I like about that little text is that it says, suddenly Jesus met them. I recently returned to the office after being out for three weeks following surgery, and it was such a gift for me when one of my coworkers just stopped by the door to visit with me. He kept that social distance, but he wanted to see how I was doing. That's what Jesus does. He wants to see how we're doing. He comes to meet us right where we are. Um, the third thing I appreciate about that little text is how the women responded. It said they held on to his feet, which reminded me of a conversation I recently had with one of our new chaplains in which he was sharing with me that one of the things that they offer to their residents is a little wooden handheld cross that they can hold on to and be reminded of their being able to hold on to Jesus. That's what the women did. Um, that's what those residents can do, and that's what we can do. We can hold on to Jesus, and then it says that they worshiped him. They placed their trust in him because they knew it was upon him that they could depend. And then the fourth thing about that little text is that it says that Jesus told them to go to Galilee. There they will see him. Why Galilee? because that was the place of their daily living. That's where they had spent the last three years together of living, working, laughing, loving, um, sharing the good news. That's where Jesus meets us at, is in our daily living and working. Would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to meet us right where we are. Thanks for the assurance that um, it can be okay to be filled with both fear and great joy. And even though you tell us to not be afraid, there's this realizing that it is even okay to acknowledge before you our fears and our joys and that you will still come to us, that you will meet us right where we are in the midst of our daily living and life and work. And that when you come to us, that we can hold on to you and we can place our faith and trust in you. May we have that assurance this day and each day. In your precious name we pray. Amen.